the grooming gang scandal is a stain on our country. Local reviews in Rochdale, Rotherham and Telford expose the systematic rape, abuse and exploitation of vulnerable young women and girls by organised gangs, almost all of them British Pakistani men. The Home Secretary, Suella Braverman, has faced recent criticism regards to some comments she's made in recent reports where she's targeted British Pakistani men of being involved in child sexual exploitation and grooming gangs and rings, which has been affected with girls who are vulnerable and in challenging circumstances, according to her remarks. This contradicts the Home Office Commission report, which has revealed the offenders being white male individuals. We will be gathering the reactions from the Member of the House of Lords, Member of the House of Commons, doctors, solicitors and accountants and other professionals. The recent uh, statement of the Home Secretary Swella Brafman is irresponsible and dangerous. Uh, we know from the past that the words have consequences. When the former Prime Minister Boris Johnson used his attack on the Muslim woman, the attack on the Muslim woman increased 270%. There is no issue. We all agree that child sexual abuse has to be stopped. But targeting a section does not help because the abusers do not have a color, nationality or faith. They come from all sections. And the Home Office own figures clearly says this, that almost 90% of the abusers are white male. And we've recently also seen cases of the largest a gang, they were all white people. So for the Home Secretary to target Pakistani men in this manner is just playing with fire because it's deliberately playing to their own far-right gallery to catch in the wars. That is just not acceptable. I am a just shadow justice minister and day in, day out, we challenge the government that they've been in power for 13 years and we've seen the whole justice system basically collapsing uh, and it's this which needs to be sorted out so that whoever abuses is held to account. That's where the focus of the target needs to be. Recently, British Home Secretary has been quoted saying that the Pakistani community in Britain is to be blamed for grooming cases. I think that is factually incorrect, a racist and, uh, and Islamophobic statement. Because according to the British government's own reports, 85% of the sexual harassment and grooming cases are carried out by uh, white British men. So uh, her statement is completely wrong and uh, it is racist, it's Islamophobic and needs to be condemned. Uh, Councillor Shafiq Shah, uh, uh, Deputy Lord Mayor of Birmingham. As a councillor and, and as a Pakistani, uh, we totally condemn uh, the remarks of Home Secretary she made about uh, Pakistani youngsters. Uh, you can't actually label the entire community uh, by actions of few uh, individuals. Majority of the British Pakistanis are law-abiding citizens. They've been working very hard in this country for many, many years. In fact, we've got third and fourth generation of British Pakistanis growing up in this country. They contribute to this society. We've got a very successful uh, business community. In fact, we've got representation in all walks of life. This is our country, and we are very proud to, of being British and uh, we totally condemned any remarks by anyone uh, to target one individual community. The statement by Suela Braverman was absolutely horrific and one-sided. Unfortunately, the Tory party and Suela has a history of the, making these xenophobic and racist comments towards the Pakistani and the Islamic community as well. And uh, unfortunately, as always, she hasn't looked at the stat statistics and she has um, screw those to one side and uh, focused on the Pakistani community. In the last few days, we have seen a number of grooming gangs around the West Midlands that have been uh, tackled and sentenced by the West Midlands police, and they are majority, 100%, all of them are white. And this is cross uh, race, cross religion, and wherever it is, whatever sector, whatever field it is, we should call it out. And I call on Rishi Sunak to reprimand 
and to sack Swilla Braverman from her post as a Home Office Minister. Uh, my name is Councillor Mohammed Idris and I'm the Chair of Housing and Neighbourhood Overview and Scrutiny Committee in Birmingham City Council. Last few days, Swilla Braverman, the Home Secretary of United Kingdom, has uh, issued a statement blaming Pakistani about the sexual abuse amongst the children. Uh, that's for her to target the Pakistani community is very, very ashamed. She should be ashamed of issuing this sort of statement because the criminals are in all the communities irrespective of race, religion, and for her to blame the Pakistani, it's uh, shameful for her. Uh, all the communities sh should be taking action and uh, condemn her remarks. Assalamualaikum. My name is uh, Dr. Shabi Ahmed. I represent the Association of Pakistani Physicians of Northern Europe, APNE, in the United Kingdom. We are a group representing more than 15,000 Pakistani doctors in the United Kingdom and the Republic of Ireland. And I remain one of the founder members as well as a previous general secretary. I'm recording this message in view of the current happenings of the statement posted by the UK Home Secretary, stereotyping the Pakistani community and the individuals from the Pakistani community as being involved in grooming and sexual crimes. The Pakistani doctors community raised their voice against this utterance. We con condemn these uh, statements of the Home Secretary to label the whole community as racist. The UK data shows that uh, crimes against children have been mostly committed by white individuals. The NSPC your data again confirms the same and with all these facts available the UK Home Secretary has elected to blame the Pakistani community which is a highly responsible community contributing in the welfare of this country in terms of education, health, uh, business, uh, industry and so on. These sort of irresponsible statements is only fueling the right-wing narrative of the Conservative Party to blame the Muslims and the Pakistani community and has got absolutely no relevance in the current environment and in the context of these uh, hateful crimes against children and minor adults. We condemn this and we demand that the Home Secretary should be sacked, should be removed from her position and the Conservative Party should be held accountable for these irresponsible remarks. Uh, uh, my name is Zahid Chaudhary and by profession I'm a solicitor. Uh, recently uh, our Home Secretary Shula Braveman made a statement against a British Pakistani. As a professional lawyer I think her statement is extremely discriminatory and xenophobic. She has painted our community with a negativity, she completely forgotten that the British Pakistanis are playing vital role in UK. If you will see British Pakistani, they are in parliament, they are running big businesses, they are very successful. I may say this one, I'm not saying this one, the issue is not there. Yes, sex uh, offenses, uh, sex groomings, issues are there. We have to tackle. But I think uh, Suila Braverman has not uh, used the correct data uh, to identify where are the problems, where are the issues. If you will see the Home Office uh, uh, own uh, uh, data is show this one, okay, yes, is a widely linked with the community, with the people who are actually majority. I, as a professional, do not name uh, the, those people, but uh, I, I personally say that uh, Suila actually must understand uh, that British Pakistanis are playing a very important role. And uh, as uh, uh, she is now giving some explanation about her statement, I said uh, she should go beyond this and uh, should apologize to uh, British Pakistani for her discriminatory and xenophobic uh, remarks and statement. My name is Zayed and I work here in um, accountancy industry in Birmingham. Savela Braverman remarks on Pakistani community is a perfect example of a stereotype. She is dividing the community and we condemn her words in strongest terms. 
Uh, this uh, seems like she's bringing um, a Pakistani and Indian con conflict into the UK. And I think she should uh, resign from government conservative party and she should join BJP because her behavior and her remarks are more matched with the BJP policy and not conservative and the UK values. You have watched the reactions from British Pakistan community in regards to the comments made by the Home Secretary Suella Braverman recently. We will wait for your valuable responses and feedback. Keep watching WNTV, Naila Azmat, World News, Birmingham.